Hello and hey, they're messing around with Elden Ring this time, safe spotting the Valiant Gargoyle fight. Ended up finding this out of necessity, hoping others can benefit from it as well. I'll talk a bit more once I get into position. It's all the way at the back of the arena. You can pretty safely run straight there, but with my four and a half figure, I did get one shot by the sword ground beam attack. You know, that one right there. So I'm squaring him up this time to save the embarrassment of a second death. Unfortunately, there isn't really a great reference point to aim at until you're really close. And most of the rocks look the same unless you've spent a considerable amount of time back here. So don't get discouraged or too frustrated if you aim towards the wrong spot on your first go and get lost. It happens. You will want to have as much space between you and the gargoyle as you can, however, to give you the best chance to sort of turn off its ability to think it can reach you. So we're going to hop behind these rocks and jam ourselves into this little nook. I felt like I was having more luck with crouching, probably a placebo effect, but if you're crouching you can't be blocking and of course... He makes me eat a shot while I'm mentioning it. At this point, he will probably start to back away, and you don't have to stay stuck in the corner. Once it has conceded that it can't reach you, you can move a bit as long as you stay pretty close to the wall. But we can see him with the edge of the camera, so I'll let him back up a bit more here. Definitely worth noting, as I said, that if it decides that it can still get in on you, there is a chance of that. You'll have to pull it out away from the wall and try again, and good luck fighting the camera that results from that cluster of a situation. Just have to pull it away enough so that you can kind of sort of break line of sight with the rock that we're crouching behind currently. My strategy is going to be different than most people that will find this helpful. So once he's fairly obscured by the mist, I run out and drop my summon before quickly getting back into our hidey hole. And this is pretty much the strategy. It should go even more smoothly for people using bow and arrow. We run out just enough to let the gargoyle know we're definitely, definitely ready to fight before scurrying back to our spot. It takes a bit of feel to know when is good to go and when to wait a moment, but exercising patience will never goof this strategy up, so try to do your best to do so. I wouldn't personally recommend Latena for this, because she's what's making the timing so tight. She outranges their aggro range, so that's why I have to wait till the gargoyle is so far back, since if I stay out in the open too long, they'll see her, come get her, and because of the placement, they'll find me and come get me. She's just one of my favorites, and I went overboard getting her to plus 10 in this playthrough, so she shreds here. Hard to say. Anyway. I decided to start looking for something like this because I had read that you can just kind of get these guys to jump off the waterfall. You know, cool, I'm doing a playthrough that kind of needs some cheese, I'll give that a go. I don't know, at least a half hour went by and I never got the first one to jump off even a single time. I'm not too proud to know when I'm beat, so I'll say, you know, I'll check out a video, see what I'm missing. Watch some videos, then tried to emulate what I saw them doing for a little bit, even though it felt like it was really close to what I'd just been trying. Still no dice. I'm not saying that's been patched, but man, does it sure seem like it. The videos people have posted, you can't keep these guys on the ledge. They're looking to hop off. Nothing in this world gives them greater joy than getting down that waterfall. But here I was with a scowl on my face as I failed to get one to jump off even a single time. But alas, most of the videos did have the NPC summon D, so that could be the key somehow. I don't know. I don't have a problem eating humble pie on this, but I couldn't do it, so we arrived at this. Getting back to the strategy side of things, when the second gargoyle is about to arrive, or as it arrives, I make sure I'm visible so that it doesn't rush down my summon, but that shouldn't be an issue for most of you. I found the original one tends to start sitting even further back. That might have gotten hairy to have them both rushing in, but they form a neat little queue for us, and as long as you're getting back to that nook before they get too bold, you'll have them cooked down in as long as it takes for your build to do it. And with that, I'll just let the rest of this play out for those of you who are curious, but I've got nothing more to add, so I'll get out of your hair. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope it helped. Be safe, guys.